to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you guys how to create this super cool 3D tracked music video title effect. It's also the first affordable 3D tracking plugin for Final Cut Pro. We're going to be creating something like this and it looks so smooth. I want to give a special thanks to Pixel Film Studios for sponsoring today's video. Also, don't forget to check them out on YouTube where they provide their own comprehensive Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials covering a variety of topics. You can visit their YouTube playlist, which I will link down below. All right, guys, so this plugin is the Final Cut Pro 10 Auto Tracker 3D, and it's honestly one of my favorite ones by them. I'm gonna go ahead and just add the analyzer effect onto our clip, so just drag that right there. And go over to the effects. And this is very, very important to do because if you don't do this, the effect is not going to work. So you're gonna go over to the launch editor button. This will create or open up a new window, I should say, with your video and then you can kind of pan through. But make sure that this green line loads all the way across your timeline before you do anything. And then go over to the camera solve settings and then click solve camera. What you're doing pretty much here, so it's pretty much creating a depth of field map where it can create a 3D kind of space. So just kind of let it do its thing. It's going to add a bunch of keyframes in the timeline. All right, guys, so I just finished creating the solve and the solve is pretty much just like a like a map of your scene where it can add points to the tracked area. So if I go to the render 3D button, if I have this box checked, you can kind of see exactly what I'm talking about. The green points are pretty much the added tracking points. And then this moving thing is the actual camera of where it's actually moving. So I'm gonna turn this off though. That's just a preview of, where, of what's gonna happen. And if you're happy with that, just click on export data, click confirm and close the window. Now you have to click on copy solve data. This is very important. This will copy all of the data that we just analyzed. And then we can paste all of the all of the data onto an effect. So we have drop zones, composites, we have 3D models from like a skull to a moon and so on. We have 3D models of food, chess pieces. So I'm gonna go back to the top though, and I'm gonna add the 3D text. And I'm gonna go and just trim this down here. So I'm gonna click on paste data, and this will paste whatever we copied from the bottom clip onto this one. And then we're gonna click on launch editor. Make sure you click launch editor on the actual title and not the video, okay? So now we can kind of go back and see all of our tracked points, which is really cool. You can change the sphere radius if you want this bigger or smaller, just so you can really see them better. So I'm gonna go to here, and what I want is to be able to go through the text. I have to click three points to create like a 3D axis point. So we're just gonna select this one, this one, and this one. So this is the three points. X, Y, and Z. So now you can see we're going through the purple shape. That's what you want to happen. So we're gonna click on export data and click confirm, close the window. And now if we go back, you're gonna see what I mean. So it's staying right where we want it, which is right here. So we're gonna go over to the text here and just change what it says. So we're gonna change it to her name, in this case, young Miko. Go, and then we're gonna change the font to something else. This can be anything you want. I'm gonna change it to magic land. I'm gonna make it much bigger and I'm also going to change the color you can do that over here and I'm going to change the color of that font to yellow or pink I think it was pink in the video so I'm gonna go with like pink so now if I if I just go back and push play it looks like this and it looks so so cool it kind of reminds me of like this like well at least the font itself kind of reminds me of Spongebob I don't know why but um, I don't know it just looks incredible so what we want to do though is kind of have it go through one of the letters and right now it's kind of angled the wrong way so we can fix that just by clicking on the text and you're gonna see three points the actual three circles here, these three circles are actually your rotation points. Green controls just, I know that controls up and down, which is the Y axis, that only moves it up and down. Blue moves it on the Z axis, and then red is the other one. And if you click on just the actual text itself and move it, you're gonna actually see that the perspective changes, and that actually has to change to make sense with the camera, right? That's honestly one of my favorite things is the ability to move it without having to change any of the keyframes. So we're gonna click on this and we're gonna rotate it the other way. So we're gonna use the green and we're gonna rotate it like this. So I'm gonna rotate it just a little bit because we do wanna show a little bit of that 3D font. So this looks good. I wanted to go through the U though. So I'm gonna click and drag and move this whole entire block down. Making sure that these are even, left and right sides. 
and I'm kind of just going back and you're going to see that it's still staying in, in, in place. Like it's not moving anywhere. It's not jittery or nothing like that, which is really cool. So now if I go back and push play, it's going to stay in place the whole entire time. And it looks incredible. Now we have to, of course, create a mask so that it appears like it's coming out of the wall. You don't have to do this. This is totally optional if you don't want to. Like you can literally start it right here and, and avoid having to use the mask. But let's be honest, I think adding a mask just makes everything look way, way better. So I'm gonna hold option on that bottom clip and just drag right above our 3D uh, text or title. With the top title or video selected, I'm gonna delete the analyzer and just go over to the effects. I'm gonna go to masks and add a draw mask. And I'm going to add the draw mask right here. So click once here and here. Now if we go to control points and we add a control point there or a keyframe there and under transforms, we add a keyframe next to position. As you go back using the left arrow key, you're gonna click in between the red line and you're just moving it. So you're just going, pressing left on the arrow key and moving this box as you need. To. So you're going to see it's now tracked. So we need to do the rest. So about here. And then once it shows the entire text, you can just move the text out of the frame, like over here. So now if I go back and push play, it's going to appear out of the wall just like that. And it honestly looks more realistic this way. And if I enable the feather here just a little bit, it makes it even more realistic, as you can see. Young Miko. And then it's gonna go through and <laughs> go through the text just like that. It looks so, so cool. You can add the plastic cup. You're just gonna do the same exact thing uh, for that. Let me show you, just go and select any object. It doesn't have to be the, the title, but for this one, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it with a plastic cup. So just drag that above. It acts as a title. And then we're gonna go over to the plastic cup go to the first clip right and click copy solve data go to the new effect that we want to apply it to and click on paste data then click on launch editor and then you're going to select your new points i want this one to stick to this wall so i'm going to select these three points and i'm going to click on export data close the window and you're going to see it kind of sticks to that like area that we selected but we're going to make this way smaller so we're going to make this 3d shape size small we're gonna rotate this and kind of play around with the transform controls over here. All of these parameters can be adjusted. You know, you can add a floor reflectivity, you can add a shadow, and you can change the lighting and all of that stuff. But uh, for the lighting, I'm actually gonna change this to medium center works fine. You can also add a mask right here if you really wanted to. That will look incredible actually. I'm gonna push play and it'll just kind of stay in place like that. And then you can do another one if you just hold option and then you go and click on launch editor. We're gonna just gonna add uh, another point to another area. So maybe on this other side, we can add these three points and click export and click confirm. So now this other one will stay on the right side. So now we can kind of make it even smaller. Maybe we can change the position and the angle. It'll play kind of like this. <laughs> And it just looks so cool. So I'm really happy that they added this feature finally in Final Cut Pro 10. And also guys, be sure to use the coupon code KingPixelPro at checkout. So uh, I'll catch you guys next time.